Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about post-harvest changes in fruit and vegetables. Basically, post-harvest changes in fruit and vegetables are physiological changes that occurs in the food after harvest. Physiological changes can still occur because biochemical activities are still present despite being detached from the plant. In fact, certain enzymes have been shown to have increased activities during post-harvest, which work together to accelerate ripening and senescence of the fruit and vegetables. It's important to note that the maturity at harvest and post-harvest monitoring of food products are very important determinants of their final quality. To help farmers and food manufacturers, there are characteristics of fruits that we can use to determine their maturity, and it is called Food Maturity Index. Examples of food maturity indices are shape and sizes, firmness, moisture content, oil content, starch content, and acidity. But in this video, we are going to discuss the most common, most practical, and arguably the most reliable food maturity index, color and aroma. Post-harvesting changes in skin color. Taking tomato as an example, tomato appear as green before major due to its chlorophyll. When chlorophyll degraded, tomato lost its green color and started to change into yellow and later red tomato. There are two pathways in chlorophyll degradation. There are enzymes such as magnesium dichlorotylase, magnesium dichlorotylase, chlorophyllase, and theophyllase are found in catalyzing the reaction. The two processes yield a common product, which is theophobal A, an intermediate producer of colorless breakdown products. Theophobal A further degraded in the vacuum, producing colorless products, hence uncovering the underlying carotenoid pigment. Now you may wonder, what can retinoid do in the fruits and vegetables? Keratonin function as coloring in the plants where they accumulate in the chromoplast and render bright yellow, orange, and red color after chlorophyll degradation. These colors are important as they attract animals which facilitate in the pollination and seed dispersion. The main group of keratonin which causes tomato to appear red is beta carotene and lycopene. In some cases, tomato appear as yellow, and this is because they contain lesser lycopene and beta carotene, but more lutein, which is also a color molecule that gives fruits and vegetables color. Next, we will talk about the post harvesting changes in aroma. Aroma compounds are volatile and the sensation are perceived primarily with our nose. The volatile compounds of aroma are the important indicator for fruit ripening as they will be released slowly together with the maturity of fruits. This is because the volatile compounds are derived biosynthetically from the degradation of larger compounds such as lipid, amino acid, carbohydrate, and catenoid. The final product of volatile compounds are usually ester, alcohol, aldehyde, and ketones. For example, tomato will produce 16 main volatile compounds during post-harvesting changes. For instance, cis-3-hexanol and hexanol from fatty acids metabolism, methyl salicylate from amino acids metabolism, and beta ionon from terpenoids metabolism. All the aroma compounds can help in the attraction of pollinators and further enhancing the taste and flavor of tomato. In conclusion, both skin color and aroma are the primary maturity index for post-harvesting changes in most of the fruits. Thank you for listening.